Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about Flask versus Fast API, which Python web framework is better. Let's discuss that part. So choosing between the Flask and the Fast depends on your project specific needs. Here is the breakdown, the strength and the weakness. So first one that is Flask, the pros, simpler and easy to learn. Okay, Flask is micro framework, meaning it is designed to be lightweight and beginner friendly. It offers more basic structure, making it easier to grasp for those new to the web development, right? Flexible and extensible. Flask does not enforce a specific way of doing the things. You have more control over the project structure, can choose the libraries, extensions you need, giving you a lot of flexibility. Great for the smaller projects and the prototypes. Flask simplicity is well suited for the building the smaller web applications or quickly prototyping ideas. Next, we have a cons. Okay, so more code for complex APIs. For complex APIs, you might end up writing more code in Flask compared to Fast, which has built in features for handling data validation and automatic documentation, which is done in the Fast, right? Manual documentation. You will need to create and maintain API documentation separately in Flask, whereas in the Fast API, generate it automatically, right? Next, we have a Fast API pros. High performance, Fast API is known for its blazing fast speed, making it ideal for building high performance and the data intensive APIs. Faster development, built-in features like the data validation, automatic documentation, streamlined development, allowing you to write less code, get things done quicker. Automatic documentation, Fast API generates interactive API documentation for your code, saving your time and the efforts. Next, we have the focus on the APIs. Fast API is specifically designed for building the APIs, offering features tailored to the tasks such as automatic schema validation so you will get to learn about what i'm saying about the automatic schema validation documentation you will get to know basically i'm discussing about the swagger right so whenever you create any kind of apis uh, in this uh, it automatically give you the platform or the web UI interface where you can just go and check that all the rest apis are in one place with the swagger api documentation so, so you don't need to do any kind of documentation for the api in the fast okay Next, we have the cons, okay? Steeper learning curve. While still considered easy to learn, Fast API might have slightly steeper learning curve compared to Flash due to its emphasis features like type hinting and the asynchronous programming. <laughs> Less flexibility. Fast API enforces a more structured approach compared to Flask, <coughs> which might feel less flexible for the some of the developers. Choosing the right framework, right? So go Flask if you are new to the web development and want simple framework to learn. You are building a small web applications or the prototype, then you can use. You need maximum flexibility and control over the project structure. Go with Flask. If you want to go with the Fast API, then what are the conditions? If you are building a high performance and data intensive API, then you value development speed, automatic features like documentation, then you should, you should use you are comfortable with the type hinting and asynchronous programming concepts, then you can. Ultimately, both Flask and the Fast are excellent choices for the Python web development. By understanding their strength and the weakness, you can select the framework that best suits your project requirements and your development experience. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. In the next video, we are going to learn the Hello world, how to create the hello world using the fast API web framework in Python. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.